Hello, dear student. So now we have another question. Ball one is released from rest from top of the building, and at the same instant in the time, ball two is projected horizontally from the same height. The effect of air resistance is negligible. So first, understand the question. Ball one, which is on the left side of the building, has been released from rest. It means the u is zero, the initial velocity. and the ball 2 is projected horizontally right so if this ball 2 has a initial velocity in a horizontal manner this statement is true so we have to analyze all the statements what it says so first of all we will understand what the question says and the question says is that we have a ball and it goes downwards like this here the u is equal to 0 and v would be something and on the other hand there is a ball from the cliff like from building and it goes like this so here the velocity is u okay so it says the velocity on impact with the ground is same for both balls that for both balls the velocity would be same now you tell me what would be So first of all, see. In first case, it is only the horizontal, uh, vertical component that will be active. So v square equal to u square plus two a s. That was the formula from like height x. So we will say that v equals to u is zero and two g x root. So this will be the velocity. But in this case. the two components here will be v1 that is was u and v2 that is zero because we have horizontal projection the velocity is only horizontally so when there is no velocity in the vertical manner so velocity the final velocity there would be vv and v horizontal so this vv will be same as 2gh for this and for this component it will be a additional velocity so the impact here will be greater than the normal release body where u equals to zero so the first option says the velocity of impact with the ground is same no definitely not because it's different then the time taken to hit the ground is greater for ball 2 so we already know that the time for both the flights is same but i'll tell you how how you can uh, understand this concept just uh, see that suppose ball is moving from this point 1 to level this so moving this h distance so h distance is same for this for case 1 and case 2 both x distance have to be moved by the ball so the time will be same how like uh, you have to use this s equal to ut plus half at square and then when you will see this equation you will see that the time for both uh, cases would be same like s is x u is 0 and you are left with half gt square so t will be 2h by g the root so the time depends upon the height and the gravitational force that would be acting so it doesn't depend upon the velocity on other parameters okay so in this case this is also wrong the impact of the is the speed of the impact speed is also different it is a magnitude magnitude is also different so it is also not same for both of this so the velocity of the impact greater for two yes definitely we have already concluded that it's greater so our d option will be right let's check the mark scheme d option is right so this is how you have to analyze the question and then you have to mark the right option thank you for watching this video